You know what I find a weird notion? What? That we that we as human beings dress up as skeletons for Halloween. When someday, if we're not cremated, we turn into skeletons. Eventually, one day, we just undress and become skeletons. What? You said we dress up to become skeletons. Eventually, someday, we just undress to become skeletons. I'm Cody. And I'm Autumn from Alabas Gaming. And we're back to playing more Forest of Jizzling Rain, and we're being very weird today. So, well, aside from, you know, having makeup on to look like... It's Halloween, you leave us alone. Exactly. Suga, what are you doing? Suga-kun. Hmm? Huh? If we were ever to get out of this forest, what about your voice, Suga-kun? Suga-kun, your voice, can't we get it back somehow? Don't worry about it. Mm. I like to imagine he has these all tied up already, so he has like a yeah. back pocket that's like a mile long. <laughs> He's just and like he just like rifles through them and be like, ah, that's the one I want. It's actually like a little filing cabinet pocket. He just pulls it out, just whoop, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Protective charms. Ah, about that. Well, actually, while in the forest, one of them snapped each time I encountered something strange, so they've all broken. I'm sorry, even though you did so much handing them to me. That's what those protective charms are for. I don't know, we have to blur that out, but... Sorry. Right. I just took a drink of my cup and had the logo on it. Gosh dang it! I'm sorry! Speaking of which, Suga, that sword of yours, I get the feeling it's slightly shining, but is that also made of night stone? Yuff. Did you make that, suga -kun? And could you have made that necklace, too? Amazing, suga -kun. You become as you said in the past. I, I don't know. Oh, really... he's embarrassed. How cute. Even the necklace stone has a limit. The sword is almost done. Let's hurry on ahead. It's love. They're so cute. I swear to I do have a picture of your cheeks. Oh my god, nah. Cutscenes every five seconds. What is this, Metal Gear? suga -kun. Is it painful? Your throat. It's my fault. Quick, if we don't get out of here, suga -kun, you'll also... Oh, is he gonna start coughing up blood? Whoa. Won't let you escape. Won't let you escape. Won't let you escape! Jesus! suga -kun, are you alright? Move your butts! Mm -hmm. Aw, shit. <laughs> Found you, my cute, cute child. Suga's pissed. Hot damn. Fucking grab her and run. Grab her and run! I just can imagine, like, him pulling her back. <laughs> I was imagining him like tuckering around, tucking her under his arm and just like Football booking it. <laughs> Football so carrying can, it. Yeah. There was definitely an underground path that was connected to the well in the lower path. Ow, my ear, my ear. Oh no. Oh, my ear is itchy. Oh, oh no. And we have to cut it off. The Katori Obaki is probably going to kill us. But the Nyklo stone has decayed. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit! Let's get that ladder now. Still can't get that ladder now. Alrighty. I don't know what we're supposed to do here, but... Probably die. I mean, that's not very... Oh, shit! Can't we swim? The water is risen due to the rain. suga is dark, so it'd be reckless to swim further in. So reckless. Let's look to see if there's another path. Maybe we that can looks go... nothing like what it looked like when the rain was a little bit lower, though. All right, now can we get the ladder? Nope. Nope. Oh! oh! But the ladder is being held by a rope. Bam. And I have a sword. sword. Are you able to cut it down with that sword? <laughs> Fuck yeah! Retained ladder. Look at that hole in the wall. Oh, there's nothing I can grab at it this time. 
Okay, last then, time we went in a hole in the wall, that was a bad pain. There's also a path on the other side, but it seems like it can be crossed by putting the ladder here. <laughs> that is one heavy ass ladder. It's locked, so it won't open. That one's not. What is this? A pedestal made of rock has been set here. It looks like an anvil. Anvil? Kind of looks like one. I guess so. Why is it that there are so many doors underground like this? What? Oh, I thought you were trying to get my attention. I don't know. Cha -cha -cha. Seems to be an oriental lamp. Old documents covered in dust have been left here. Words in the old language have been written here, and it's quite difficult to decipher them. Old documents. Are... Oh, jeez. The one I was going to skip is the one that has something we got to read. In the distant past, our ancestors received a necklace stone from a certain man. <gasps> Why is it that my ancestors agreed with that man's deeds? Perhaps they must have been deceived. It's because that man, in order to entrap one woman he fell in love with, just for that purpose, to see the people of the village. Oh, man, I sure it was doing a mess. like mere lust. It was perhaps un unmistakably a twisted love. That loved woman had her husband, child, and child in her belly killed and was made to live her entire life in prison as a plaything. How could it be holy for us to pray to that stone and plant with love and hatred as a source of protection? I saw into the interior of its darkness. Just which generation among my ancestors would have made it like this in there? The filth was not in there. Rather, it was perhaps I who would have done nothing who was the filthy one. Quite dreadful indeed. Almost everything was... Everything after that has been so crumpled and roughly written that it's not possible to read it. You're making faces in the camera. You're a jerk. What? You're a jerk. Why? Because I can't see your cute faces. Faintly, some light leaks in from above. This is the face I was our way out. This underground path was connected to the mansion's well on the other side. Don't even pay attention. Maybe this is also connected to the mansion, perhaps. What? I was trying to show you the face I was making. Oh, okay. Do it again. <laughs> that is cute. But it's way above. I might not e yeah. I might not be able to reach even with a shelf. I guess there's nothing I can do but raise my voice and call, perhaps. No! Why? Because what if it calls a Katorial Baki here? Let's go back and try and get that ladder. I think you have to do it. Don't tell me how to live my life. You are not my master. I think you have to do it. Yeah, I think we do. Dodge the lock. Whatever the, the happened rock to thing. the little girl? Sakuma? Yeah. Remember she got tied to the rock? No, I know. Bodies? And then what happened to her after that? Oh, Officer Mochizuki carried her away. Okay. All right, let's yell. Let's, let's, let's yell. Come on, there we go. Perhaps Mochizuki-san and the others might be there, so let's try calling for help. Hey! I'm in a hole! Help! <laughs> someone! Is someone there? Oh, jeez, look at the spike in there. <laughs> <laughs> is someone there? Please, please respond! Someone! Someone! What are you doing? Someone! I'm making sure not to overload the mic. Everyone like a shirt? Oh yeah, I'm wearing my Majora's Mask shirt. It's really cool. Did we get that from T-Fury? Uh, I don't remember. This video not sponsored by T-Fury. <laughs> <laughs> or Arby's. Sorry! It'll it'll be alright, surely. Are you talking about the cup or the... <laughs> yeah, the cup. Um... Sugakun, you don't need to make such an agonized face. After all, Sugakun, all until now, you've always protected various people from that spirit, right? If so, then it'll be all right. Surely we'll be able to return safely today as well. It'll be all right, because Sugakun, when you were scared and crying... I... Mm -mm. No logo. Stop drinking on camera! I'm thirsty! You leave me alone! God! Don't I also made a promise to protect you, Sugakun. All right, that's decided. I'll need to raise a larger voice. Oh, Jesus Christ, I knew this would happen! We're all fucked. Uh, they can't be. It came in. We're fucked. Aw, oh, Suga better not die. I was just starting to like him. Sugakun. 
no. Right now you can't go that way. No, you can't go. <laughs> Jesus, did he just cut us? Sugakun? Is he possessed? Sugakun. Wait, no, you can't. What just happened? I think you locked us in. Whiffed him? After... <laughs> Whiff him? The door has been fixed in place so it won't open. No, no good. This is all no- Please, no. suga for me to- I need- I need to call for help. Quick, quick, quick! Wait, is she Run! in the room? Or is she with, like, Suga, or what? She's a Suga. I'm gonna go save up here just in case something happens. I think we're gonna play a Suga again, maybe? Ow! Someone, someone, someone! Please, we're here and we can't get out! Someone, 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 we're in danger! Please, someone, please find us! A lot of someones! Someone found you! My funny faces don't look as funny. Well, they they don't look quite as like me making a funny face with this makeup on. Are you there? Hang in there! Right now, I'll get you out of there! What happened to suga -kun? Hey, are you all right? Uh, then right after getting rescued from the underground by Officer Mochizuki and Sakuma-chan, I fainted. When I woke up, I was resting in a hospital bed in a city far from Azakawa Village. It all felt so unreal, and I was so confused that the hospital didn't even consider discharging me. Surely they think I've lost my mind. It's already been close to two weeks past when I should have been discharged. From what I heard from Officer Mochizuki over the phone, Suikun, who should have been with me underground, has still not been found. Not even a corpse. You just ended the search. I'm sorry, was what Officer Mochizuki said. That voice going through the phone shook with anger and confusion. Finally, time to hang up the phone. There was a voice of Sukumichan as if he, sh as if she had stolen the phone from Officer Mochizuki beside her. The stone is broken and the Kintorio Baka is now able to come outside. So you absolutely cannot come to the village. Don't ever come again. Her voice, her voice firmly carried on a sense of seriousness. But I hung up the phone right there. We're going back to Azakawa Village, aren't we? There was a voice. A voice calling me. As if it were eating into my head, into my heart. The invoice, inviting voice does not leave my head. Come, 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 come. I'm not going to keep saying that or otherwise someone's going to make it sound dirty. Really? Okay, I was expecting another bunch of lines of it. I threw away the medicine I received from the physician. I merely flowed towards the direction of the voice. I don't even know if it's my own will anymore. Helplessly towards the direction of the voice. Betraying her pleads and his promise. Ah, uh, how is he doing as of now? Is he resting alone now within those arms? If I can be embraced too within those arms. By merely thinking that, my chest, gloomily, helplessly, is filled with a sense of warmth. So, I'll need to go back. To that repulsive place. And so now... I am swaying in this train, headed towards Azakawa Village. This is like the beginning. I was gonna say, are, are we starting the whole thing over again? Wait, that's the end? That's the end?! So she essentially goes back and gives up? Like, just gets taken by the Gatorio Bake? What? I guess huh? at least then the, the family that tortured the Gatorio Bake, the family line is over. But I feel really bad. Suga didn't deserve that shit. I mean, Shiori didn't even deserve that shit. Neither of them really did anything wrong. God damn. End five. The broken promise, the fulfilled promise. 
Oh, I forgot there's multiple endings. How do we screw up? Why do we always get a bad ending? I don't know. Because we killed a ba the children in a forest space. Probably. God. Well, that was Forest of Drizzling Rain, everyone. And we actually stopped. Wait, we got to the end of it right around time. Okay, so. Ugh. If you want to see multiple endings, or see the other endings, look up somebody else's video for it, because unfortunately we're not going to go back and get every ending, because this actually took much longer than we originally planned. Thanks, but, I got sick, and a bunch of other stuff happened. And yeah, just a stuff. whole mess of things. But, thankfully, we're done with it now, and uh, it's a very interesting game. Thank you very much to both Issy and Jeanette for um, asking us to play this one, and for everyone else that wanted to see it. Like... It's a very cool game. I like these RPG games, especially RPG horror games. Um, we're probably going to take a break from playing any more RPG horror games for now just because we played a few of them in a more recent time. And we're going to play Spooky! Spooky! Yay! Okay, so thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave us a like and tell a friend about it so they can enjoy it too. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel and we'll put some annotations on the side here for some other videos we've done. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you become my little boy, maybe I'll give you love.